Hey guys, my name is Evan Blue, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And, um, it's been a while since I've done a, um, redstone tutorial. Well, not really a really long time, but it's been a while in my opinion. So I decided to make something that I haven't really thought about doing before. And this is a custom portal. And it, basically you can teleport someone wherever you want them to. And it's really highly customizable. So re really quickly, let me disable the rig really quick so that it doesn't accidentally teleport me and send me and run all these commands on me. So basically what this does is you need to have a little teleporter frame or whatever you want it. It could be as big as you want, but the bigger um, the bigger of a spot that a player can walk on, the more command blocks you'll need to set up. So um, in this one, I have two blocks set up, so I need two test for command blocks. So basically what that means is um, the entire time that uh, you want this to be wor working, this clock has to be running. And you can do a hopper clock so that uh, this doesn't, uh, blah, 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 so that this little thing doesn't uh, disable itself. But um, yeah, so you can do that by yourself. You don't know if you don't know what a hopper clock is. It's basically that right here. This is a hopper clock, and you have to have an item in there. Okay. So basically, while this thing is running, it is testing for if these two command blocks. And basically, what it is doing is seeing if there is a player in either of t these two spots right here and if there is then it'll run the it'll enable this comparator and run these this rig right here um so uh hold on i'm blanking out okay so i'll tell you guys these um i'll put these little commands in the description um just so you don't have to like yeah copy and paste it so after it tests for those things then it's does a comparator it enables those if someone's there and then it gives them effect of nausea 2 for seven seconds and again <clears throat> i will put this in the, de the description and after that it runs over here and it runs all the way up here running through this timer and then it um teleports the player and then it plays them a sound and this sound is customizable and this um, teleport location is also customizable so you could change this sound to whatever you want I changed it to um, portal.travel which is kind of cool when you're done teleporting and this will teleport me a couple blocks away it should teleport me like right there so let me enable the rig again and go through it to show you guys that it does work and by the way if you want this to like be faster so that it um, recognizes if a player's in there or not you just have to um, put this down a little bit um, lower the uh, ticks in that <clears throat> rig right there and so let's go in and as you can see I have nausea and then it will teleport me and it'll play the sound so I could change this to whatever I want so I could change the sound to um from portal.travel to like uh chicken.hurt or something and it will make a hurt chicken noise sorry about that it does that when I I don't know why it does that but it does so, <clears throat> as if I go through here, it should make a chicken hurt noise. No, it doesn't. Okay. Um, this thing, this play sound thing is kind of um, weird. Um, so yeah, I'll just put it back to what it is. And I think I messed up the chicken dot hurt thing a little bit. Anyways, so I'll go ahead and make this one more time, um, so you guys can see how it how to make it. So first, you're gonna start off by making your teleporter frame. I'm gonna make mine a one block teleporter teleporter frame so only um, there's only one block that you can access from so it'll it won't take as much time to make this then you put two pieces of redstone a command block or wait no yes no yeah no yeah okay command block here piece of redstone next to it redstone repeater put those as whatever you want them as I put them at two ticks and then you need to put a comparator right here another command block and then you put a repeater a block and a couple more, depending on how much to, how much um, how much nausea you give them for how long. Uh, you need to make this little rig that I'm making higher. So I'm gonna put mine to seven seconds, like I did last time, and I'll just make this really quickly. And almost done. I'm so bad at placing blocks, obviously. Okay, how many blocks did I put this? One, two, three, four. Okay, four. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna put my repeater right there command block and another repeater and another command block so that's how the rig works um, I'm just gonna put these repeaters here again really quickly fill it up with what it needs 
Oops. And yeah, then you put all these at um full. So the timing you're gonna have to get right by yourself if you're gonna be changing the uh, effect effect time. And um, so yeah, I'm not gonna put the commands in there because um, they'll be in the description, and you should know the um, the pattern of them or which one goes first and which one goes last so anyways that's the end of this video guys if you um, found this tutorial helpful or you like uh, my idea behind this be sure to leave a like and i hope to see you guys in my next video peace out